checking, checking. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Two Minute Dating. I hope that tonight many of you will finally meet your type. I think this week we'll have whoever is tired stay at the tables and the rest will move around. Please remember, stay silent until the buzzer goes off. Do you believe in love at first sight? Um, well, not love precisely. I guess you're able to recognize certain compatibility traits by reading someone's body language. Mm -hmm. Body language. I like that. And by reading you, I can tell you're uncomfortable. You're backing away, laughing nervously. <laughs> you're definitely uncomfortable. And I don't know, I can see it in your eyes. You're super uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I actually am. Uh, you're good at reading people. Thank you. But don't worry, I'm uncomfortable too. This is not the type of situation I would put myself into. A friend told me to come here. Um, will you pick up your phone? No. Um, yeah, a, a friend told me to come here too. Oh my god, really? We have so much in common. Wow. Are we like soulmates? Hey, how's it going? Isn't this too boring? Like, too many rules, for real. We have to sit here, we won't really dance. <laughs> I'm Wilder, nice to meet you. You have this mysterious aura I like. Mysterious, huh? <laughs> and that's how I shall remain. So, what is your job? I'm not really working currently. Oh, so you're studying? No, I'm a graduate. Why aren't you working? Because there there isn't much. I I just don't. Uh, I I can't. Do you have a small business? I just don't really. Are you a freelancer? <laughs> because I don't want to. I've seen you before. You're in. You're my type. Although I didn't like you because, don't take it personal, you could use a better picture to raise your market value and success rate. You could use your full potential. You seem to know about this. What do you do? I'm a CEO. Oh, cool. Yeah, what do you have in your profile bio? Food is a language of love. If that didn't make you like me, probably nothing will. Let's change this to I will be independent and supportive of your goals. Competent, smart, effective. I will know what you want. That should work. I would like you. I just wanted to make friends. Is that what you're looking for in a partner? Oh no, I'm not looking for a partner. But you came here because... Because I'm a businesswoman. And I don't just solve these people's problems, but I also solve the viewers' problems, making the world a better place. Can't you find someone you're compatible with to be the love of your life? Find your type. Oh, you're my type. It is to find friends too, not just a couple. Same, by the way. Compatible friends from all over the world. You're my type uses personality types to make dating online more meaningful. Yeah, so the app actually contains a memes feed. People can post and comment on memes, and users can match people who post funny and interesting memes or comments. That's why I'm there for the memes. Most importantly, the app is completely 100% free, and it is available on iOS and Android. You're my type. Download it now. What was that voice? What voice? Download it now. I'm a voice actress and CEO. Hello, nice to meet you. My hobbies are watching movies, being a homebody, and reading. I might seem cold in the outside, but as soon as you get to know me, you will find a pure soul who enjoys the smell of rain and coffee. I'm INTP as well. Oh, so let's just wait in silence. Sure. I could actually sleep for a while. Yeah, good night. Hey. Hi. Are you okay? You look tired. Mm. I'm okay. 
How many hours a day are you sleeping? Sometimes two, sometimes 17. It depends. Well, you could fix your schedule. If after going to bed, you fall asleep within five minutes, you have to pay attention. You're probably sleep deprived. I think it is more complex than that. No worries. I think you just have to get in sync with sunlight. Hmm. I read once you should get up at the same time every day and get 15 to 30 minutes of sunlight each morning. So you're better at giving facts than me, huh? It won't work, but I appreciate it. Thank you. I will be emotionally detached while I analyze if you're a potential partner or not. I barely came here. So you can choose when to be emotionally detached? Well, of course. As simple as being myself or my emotional self. Is your emotional self too different from yourself? Or is it like adding emotions to yourself besides your usual self? No emotions. Emotions. That's it. So now you are at 0% emotions. Yes. That is possible, right? Why whenever I say the same, people won't believe me? Because you're not clear and direct. You're too abstract. And you're afraid of making people think you're too insensitive. So they get confused. Therefore, they don't think it's possible for you to shut down your emotions when you need to. If I was clear and direct, I would ruin many things. If I was direct right now, I would say I don't like you. Because you can judge I'm afraid of making people think I'm insensitive. And I don't like being vulnerable. Especially in front of strangers. Then don't. Why am I suddenly feeling like a feeler? Hey... Hey, nice to meet you. What are your hobbies? I like reading, sleeping, eating, and music. I love doing all those things too. I like hobbies in general. I dance, I sing, I play the piano, I paint. I like painting nature. I wish someday to travel around the globe painting beautiful landscapes I come across. The earth is flat. Just kidding. The earth is not flat. Oh no, it is not. I have enough experience to say it is not flat. I don't need to read theory about it. I can't deduce it. Do you? What do you mean? I mean, do you? Do we? How can we be sure? I'll tell you a secret. It might be flat. Do you think so? Oh no, it is just a theory. I don't have to agree with something to say it might be. I think it's flat. But of course it's not flat. What is this? Hello. Are you willing to play a game with me instead of pretending to be okay with this excruciating experience? Okay. It's okay, we can chat inst- Did you say okay? Yeah. <gasps> okay, so first question. A kid comes to you and kicks you in the shin. What do you do? I ask them why they did it. You should consider kicking them back. But they're kids. That is irrelevant. Okay, next question. Your house is on fire. What do you grab as you run out? My cat. You had to answer something like, my teddy bear. So I say, do you think your teddy bear will protect you and get you food? And then you say, no, I just need emotional support and my teddy bear does that to me. I don't have a teddy bear. <gasps> How can you not? Are you heartless? You would hurt a kid. Can I ask you something? Yeah. What's your blood type? A positive. See? That's the thing. I am A blood type too, and yet none of us is highly organized. How do you know I'm not highly organized? Are you? No. Wow. You look amazing. Oh, this? I didn't even try. Hmm. So, I have a question. Why did you come here? Because my friend told me to. Okay, that's valid. Yeah. Now, why did you decide to listen to your friend? Because... I... 
don't know. You see, I'm good at this. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm exhausted. Oh, me too. I understand you. It is so easy to get exhausted nowadays, especially with what is it with social media? It absorbs so much time of our lives and screen damages our brains. Oh yeah, mobile phone radiation could have a negative effect on memory performance. Oh, no, no. I can't imagine how life will be in 10 years from now on. I always expected a zombie apocalypse, but I think something worse may happen before that. What? Robots. Would it be a problem though? Haven't you watched enough movies? Of course it would be a problem. And how would dating work? So cold. Maybe no one will be interested in finding partners anymore. That's why I came here today, basically. I'm making a good use of the absence of robots. How? <laughs> Listen. Why is it so hard to find someone who's willing to love me? I've got a bunch of words of affirmation and motivation to give. It is hard to connect with someone in these times. What will happen when there are only robots? Yeah, that clearly doesn't rhyme. Hey cat, if we wanna climb the ladder of true identity, we better make some tea first, because we sure need serenity. I wanna be appreciated and spend quality time, so instead of staring at me like this, look for your perfect match. Oh, you're my type. We still have one minute left. Um, you can sit. Not yet. Now I sit. Hello. Hello. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Chile. Wait, I need to grab something. Okay, now I can continue. Wait, where are you from? Questions to me. Okay, I'm from... Wait, I need to grab something. They should organize the people sitting here so that they don't feel overwhelmed. Yeah, the person who follows should not be completely opposite to the previous one, but not similar either. Something like replacing two functions. Yeah, or moving the ones in the center to the outside. True. Hel Hello. Hi. Well. My default is hating this person, but so far she's playing this game with me. She's actually investing our precious time to read me and know what to say instead of being impulsive. Or maybe, maybe she's evil. That outfit seems like something you would wear to confuse others, to make them think you're harmless. But no, I am your nemesis. I know who you are. I know what your plans are. But I must admit, you have beautiful eyes. Why is she looking at me like that? Am I supposed to keep staring at her? I wanna blink. I wanna cry. Okay, just come up with something. Anything. Lava. 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 Chocolate river. Shark boy and lava girl. I wish I had a banana split boat. How amazing is it to be surrounded by edible things? Everything should be edible. We would contaminate much less, but we should have a special shoes and everything. Hair would be a problem. <sighs> oh, right. She's staring at me. Say something. Chocolate like... Is that a code? Who sent you? Hey, nice to meet you. Hey, so what is your name? You are the first one who asks my name. Really? I can't believe that. I'm Lily. That is a beautiful name, Lily. And you're a very nice person. But what do you do? I... You don't have to answer if you don't want to. I was just asking out of curiosity. But I respect your boundaries. It's okay. Is there anything you want to talk about? What about ghosts? 
<laughs> That's terrifying. Why do you want to talk about ghosts? You like them? Yes. <gasps> what are your best qualities? Hmm. Do worse qualities work? Oh yeah. Well, I have a never-ending train of thoughts. Sometimes I don't care enough, and other times I care too much about one significant detail. It seems like I don't feel things, but the things that I don't validate my feelings much, so I just don't talk about them. Is that it? No, but I said too much already. Great. Do you know who organized this speed dating? I could do it better. It could be only like 10 seconds. People should say their best qualities and done. <laughs> This is a bit inefficient. How would you know if they're lying about their qualities? They wouldn't. Why would they? That would make them waste time with fake compatibilities in the long term. I don't think that's the case. I think most people are okay with having the illusion of a connection. <sighs> Why would they do that? Candle. Yellow. Sword. Head. Oh, I see the reference. Snow. Elbow, vaccine, majority, lost, ocean, dark, candle, yellow. Are you okay? Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. Sure. Look, we don't have to talk. Like, please, let's not talk. I could use a break. Yeah. I want to go home. Then go home. You don't need to stay. But if I leave, I will ruin the entire dynamic and someone will be alone for two minutes with no date. <laughs> That does not sound ruined to me. I would cause too much trouble. What is a tiny pocket in jeans for? Um, to store pocket watches. <coughs> and what are you tired of? I haven't said anything about myself. I have just been letting people vent. I have something to say too, you know. And what is this? Why did I come here? Everyone will lie about themselves anyways. Including me. That's why the most constructive thing to do here is focusing on the other one. Maybe I can help them. Maybe I can help you. Do you have any problems? Nope. You must have problems. Aren't you afraid of something that could happen next week? Next week sounds a bit long term. You won't believe what just happened. Oh my God. So come here. I broke the table. That was so funny. How did you break the table? I don't know. I think I'm very strong. Last guy knew karate and he was kind of cute. So how does that explain it? This is not my first time here, you know. I'm friends with Helga. I'm like the queen of the place. I have a dance routine I do at the end. You should stay. Everyone's staying. I don't think I want to stay. You should definitely stay. <laughs> I'll go dance now. Nice to meet you. My SE is so bad. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I'm like doing this. <laughs> So, what is your job? You see?